What's up, Pisces? Get you guys your build it story. Tarot card reading. This time this reading is going to be for anyone with Pisces as their sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. Energies are gender neutral. Kings to be queens and vice versa. Information is down below. If you'd like to subscribe, that would be pretty awesome. Share content. I'm going to take this card. It's just standing up. Hey, look at that. Your reading and the King of Cups to start it off. I didn't even get to cut my deck yet, but I definitely have a feeling that I'm supposed to take these cards this way. I just feel that. Okay. <laughs> Let me peek. I was only going to take three cards, but as I get into my readings, I understand that um, Spirit has its way of what and how these messages are meant to come out for you guys. So... If you need a personal private reading, the information is down below in the description box. There will be a link at some point here in the video to my live website. You guys can book me there as well. So, Spirit, for my Pisceans, what messages do we have? Hangman, Ace of Wands, Two of Cups. Felt like your soulmate left you hanging for some of you possibly left you out in the cold um it's a very new love very smitten type of feeling situation it's a soulmate energy um so the person you're dealing with is your soulmate here um their feelings and emotions are coming into play knight of cups here with ace of wands this is a lot of passion that could possibly even lead to obsession here be very very careful like, oh look two of cups again okay Damn, Pisces. <laughs> so you have a connection with someone that feels like a soulmate. Mutual respect, um, love, trust, hopefully honesty. I want to say honesty, but I don't know your person. This could be a person that puts you in a third-party situation, playing the field. It could be someone um, that is a water sign like you, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or they could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, or Sag. That energy is here. But there's a lot of passion here in the connection between you and your person, even though you guys are at odds. Oh, there's a lot of jealousy and competition right now. There can be a lot of people competing for your person, for their attention here. It's here for you. But with the Page of Swords here, this person is watching you. What else do we have for Pisces? I love that Ace of Wands. That's new energy. That's a very passionate connection. This person has a lot of lustful energy built up for you. Could even be, like I said, watering on obsession here. Oh yeah, twin flames. <laughs> ultimatum in love. This person has gave you an ultimatum. Could be playing the field. This is someone that has multiple lovers, but they are like the devil with you. It's like, I slept with the devil. Like, I fucked the devil. <laughs> and, oh my goodness. And the Empress. I didn't even see her come out or fall out, but this is someone that you have kids with, have a child with, some of you guys. Um, it's here. Can't make it up. <laughs> that is what I get. But with this person, they feel like home to you. They feel very familiar. You know, you're very into this person emotionally. I see that. What else do we have for my Piscean friends? For my Piscean friends. So, we got six of cups on the split. The hermit. You guys are in separation. Spending time alone, time apart from your person. With the hangman here, this person is coming back in with a different perspective um, on the situation here. Haven't had time to think it through, haven't spent that time away from you and alone. I feel like they are willing and ready to show up and do the work to be able to uh, make the investments to give you reciprocity here like you deserve seven of wands are saying that it is time to stand your ground stand up for yourself protect and defend your ideas seven of wands with the five of wands so there's chaos there's trouble in paradise with you and your person and oh somebody sad depressed crying can't sleep at night waking up out of your sleep having dreams about your person so sorry pisces about that energy you got you're strong don't just go through it grow through it now the source of speaks of anxiety worries fears with the temperance 
it's time to get more in alignment with your highest vibration here to balance your emotions the temperance here is um speaking of possibly someone here that um has some sober time under their belt it's a card of sobriety eight of wands they want to come in and communicate but it's also a card of balancing your emotions here getting a better handle on um, the situation that you're dealing with here instead of just finding yourself in these deep dark energies of depression all the time of crying a lot something or someone in your experience and you know it could be a younger person it could be kids some of you guys have kids that are adolescents age or um, young adults it's here for you six of cups you know something that's part of your past but it can also be played right into your future as well something or someone so I just want to let that be known with the two of cups that's soulmate but it's about kindred spirits here your person's energy hey man again oh yes oh yeah and you got <laughs> page of swords again oh my they're obsessed and they're watching you like crazy watching you like a hawk strength here spiritual strength and power with that temperance energy you are going to be okay you are going to come through this just fine i do believe that it is time to you know call in your angels your spirit guides your teams if you have a prayer partner um or someone that you can manifest good energy with create good energy and flow with, now would be the time to reach out to these people and bring them into your circle so that you can form these bonds and connections with these um your soul tribe you know the two of cups here um and your story is telling me that now it's time to come into alignment with some of your soul tribe as you are on a spiritual awakening or getting more enlightenment on your path or wherever you are and part of your journey here it's telling me that there's many choices and and there's many choices as well as obstacles with the five of wands here and the seven and then we have the seven of cups so that's all about delusions or illusions your person could be seeing that um they could be trying to make sense of it all for some reason their energy here is hangman very hangman is she that's your energy pisces that's pisces energy is showing up here twice so in this energy with these cards i'm seeing here that this person is trying to put arrest old bad habits here maybe um get rid of some toxicity in and out of their life but a lot is centered around you right now this person thinks about you a lot and they fantasize about you i see that energy here um, ten of swords ten of cups two tens endings impending endings but with the ten of swords it's been a long hard journey backstabbers backbiters things did not work out in your favor it was hard getting through it it took a lot out of you <laughs> but in life you are either in a storm on your way out of a storm or on your way into a storm so again don't just go through it grow through it you have ten of cups energy here for you and to me that is very indicative to a free-flowing connection with those around you the happiest most emotional most content point in time in your life where things just really begin to align for you um, where matters of the heart are concerned here and it's all going to start with you going within and healing learning to love yourself if you're looking for love outside of you then you're always going to um repel that away from you because like attracts like you don't get what you want you get what you are so learn how to love yourself and project that outside of you and you will magnetize that is what it is that you want solitude spending time alone i did pick that up and harmony <laughs> twice twin flame energy twice gemini energy twice here i don't know who's dealing with a gemini but that energy is here twice so is this a person that looks at you as an option um that's left you hanging more than once you know it's here more than once so that could be the case too for that okay spirit let's get more energy harmony with the two of cups twice and the lovers twice very strong magnetic pull and attraction in this connection or the possibility for it is here the third eye chakra awakening that hits that hangman off real good in the waiting game so as you begin to awaken your third eye begins to open here and um with the third eye trucker it's like follow your bliss the ideas that you are having um the things that you want for yourself that you want to create that you see yourself having go ahead and allow for yourself to begin to visualize those things and daydream about them a little bit and try to put some emotion with it to match those visualizations you're having and you can begin to pull those things actually into your experience here new beginnings i like that 
So it's just a waiting game. New beginnings are here for you. It's just right around the corner, but you do have ideas and powerful epiphanies coming your way. Um, there will be a time to directly communicate what you need and begin to set boundaries with this person that keeps leaving you in the hangman type of energy that's here for you. You want victory. You want rewards and recognition for what you've put in, what you've invested into the connection. Your person could be one of that. This could be you or your person's energy. Positive movement forward. What are you going to do now that you know what you know from spirit, from these cards, your new beginnings? For those of you who this does resonate with, do leave a comment or not. I am very responsive to your comments, though, however. So, yep. Energy Oracle. Then I have some energy for my lovely, lovely Pisceans. And again, some of you guys are just, you know, dealing with twin flames. It could definitely be a twin flame. Financial constraints is here. Um, angel strength is here twice. So some of you guys, you're just going to have to walk away. You're going to have to leave this person alone. The one that keeps you uh, bottled up and don't look back. She's looking back in this picture, but don't look back. You know, be strong. Be strength. Um, embody that strength, that spiritual strength here. It's not about the physical strength. I mean, you physically got to be able to walk away, but you know, it's about spiritual strength here. Knowing who you are, finding your worth, and not letting anyone place a value on you or tell you, you know, what your worth should be all tied up. Financial constraints. Some of you guys, your money is all tied up. Um, you are borrowed from Paul to pay Peter here. You could be in a financial rudder situation here um, that keeps you tied up in your thoughts here. Um, a lot anxiety, grief, worry, stress. That energy is here. Spirits. What else? Healer of the ages. Back to that healing energy. You got to heal yourself. I don't know what you guys are going through. For those of you who this does resonate with, but please heal yourself. Ten of cups again. Periods with the two of cups twice. So we have happy family card here. Your anxieties is <laughs> revolves around being happy, having a happy family, having someone that'll show up and love you how you need to be loved. You know, you visualize and imagine um, a man coming in, like wearing his heart on his sleeve for you, or a woman for those of you that are men wearing their heart on their sleeve for you. The person that you want could be all tied up. They could be in another relationship somewhere else with somebody, but it doesn't exclude them from you. And for others of you, that's just that energy that... You know, your money's tied up. Um, you don't know which way to go. You have a lot of anxiety about having a happy family, about being complete, about finding the person that you're going to spend the rest of your life with. And it's okay, Pisces. You are such a loving person. You're such a great energy. Like, I really love you guys. I'm Pisces Moon and Pisces Midheaven. And let me tell you, we are very emotional. We are very empathic. And we give our all very self-sacrificial energy, most definitely. But you got to learn how to love yourself first. Playfulness, like the Leo. <laughs> then we have deception. Woo! Okay. Someone is wearing a false mask in this connection, reconciliation. That's that six of cup energy. Somebody from the past most definitely wants to come back in and capture the romantic fun times that you guys had together. They think about you a lot and they're most definitely watching you, but they see that you're healing family issues here. So, you know, you have to heal what you've been through in the past. If you guys have grown up with the type of paradigm that, oh, money is the root of all evil, or I never have enough, begin to change those thoughts of how you think about money. Money has ears. Money is energy. Um, say good things like, I have such a a relationship with money money is very attracted to me all the money that i use makes its way back to me tenfold never say spend money because you know you don't want to spend it you want to always bring it back to you you want to attract it to you just a couple pointers <laughs> what else do we have from the romance angels for my piscians my healing beauties free yourself oh wow <laughs> spirit is not I ain't spirit on ass over here. Woo! Free yourself. So the cards that we just had of walking away. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. <laughs> walk away. Get that inner strength that you need to walk away and heal yourself, honey. Free yourself. It is time to take back control of your life, period. Get the strength that you need. However, that comes about for you. The messages are here. Loud and clear, Pisces. Toil and labor. That's hard work. 
This one's hard work. You're going to put a lot into this. Message. So we're going to get a text message from their person. Email. I feel like this person may even be writing messages and deleting them before they get a chance to send them out. That's the type of energy I get from this person. Poverty. So it's either you or your person is working on finances right now. Like I said, money is definitely a big, big issue here for you and your life. It's causing a lot of anxiety, grief, and stress in your experience here. So the only way to change that again is to change your relationship and your thoughts about money and begin to say positive things about it. If you ever want to see yourself be gifted the privilege of being the privileged lady in this lifetime, the universe says they just need you to walk away. To begin to love yourself and to walk away and to free yourself. That is your base energy. That is what's here for you. Um, I hope someone got what they needed. Last card, message of concern. And we did get that message popped up. So for some of you, there's a message coming your way, a message of concern. Um, I hope that works out for you. If you guys need a personal private reading, information is down below in the description. Do book me. Thank you.